Jeff Platt here with PokerNews.com. We're on break of the $1,500 shootout, catching up with Randall Emmett. You've seen him on Poker After Dark, Live at the Bike. You know his work from the television and film producing world, uh, End of Watch, Lone Survivor, Power on Stars. We could go on and on. But most importantly, the winner of yesterday's $200 Daily Deep Stack, the champion is here. This is a winner's interview. How much did you enjoy that run? It was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. I mean, I, I, you know, I got knocked out of the uh, fifteen hundred yesterday, and I was like a little bummed. And I'm like, what do I play? I jumped into this, and I had no idea <laughs> what I was getting into. Three hundred and fifty people, thirteen hours. It was awesome. It was just so much fun. It was really was. How would you sum up just how much you enjoy playing poker tournaments? I got to tell you, it's such a it's so much fun, the personalities you meet, the people you play against, some of the greatest players in the world, and, and, and amateurs, you know, like myself. And it just makes, it's just navigating through waters that are really treacherous and having a lot of fun and trying to, you know, uh, pull out of moments that you're like, oh man, what did I just get myself into? <laughs> I'm playing against a guy with four bracelets and I just try to bluff him. I'm the idiot. Anyway, no, but it, it's, it's been awesome. And, and being here in, in the greatest stage has, has been really, really exhilarating. Chris Mormon at a stable, by the way, in the $1,500 shootout. Speaking of bracelet winners to deal with, how much have you enjoyed the, the Poker After Dark experience, the Live at the Bike experience, and, and what do you think those broadcasts do to, to really help poker? Um, I enjoy it uh, probably the most of anything I do. Um, first, uh, a lot of people come up to me, amateurs, and say, oh my God, I recognize you in this, and, and, and you make the game fun. And I think for me, watching the game, obviously there's a, a high level skill, high level game sure. theory, all that. but. Taking that aside, there's also supposed to be a fun and, and, and you know a lot of fun to this game, and I hope I bring that. I hope I make it fun. I hope I make people laugh. I hope I I, I, I create an excitement in the game that's not just by the book where we sit and watch nine people, you know, <laughs> just you know looking at their cars, looking up, looking at their cars, staring at each other. Taking for three minutes. Yeah. yeah. And, and that and that I know that's a very important part of the game. I'm not I'm not taking it away. But but I also want to bring a fun to the game and I want people to laugh and I want people to, you know, I want to make fun of myself and I also want to have a good time and and I really uh, pride myself on that. And I and I got a lot of feedback over the last few days. People are like, "God, you make the game fun." And I I wish there were more people like you. Not as many people losing like I do, but uh, <laughs> but but just, you know, more personality in the game. And I and I think the more people like myself that get on TV and get on these streams, the more uh, uh, more people will come to the game and, and support the game. So, that's and I'm sure you also have fun in these Hollywood home games that we hear yeah. so much about. Can you give us a, kind of a glimpse into what those games are like? Oh man, they are. They're. I mean, take nine guys like me, and it's like Fourth of July. But um, no, you know, those games are fun. You know, there's a lot of we know each other, and and there's a lot of uh, friendship, and there's also a lot of you know bluffing and and and. Uh, you know, needling, and I mean, we really like to get under each other's under each other's skin. So uh, the the home games are are awesome. They're just a lot of fun. What are your plans for the rest of the World Series? Man, I'm gonna bring Antonio out next week okay. on my plane because he likes to use me for my plane. But um, <laughs> but um, you know, I'm gonna play the tag team. I'm gonna bring a couple actors out for the tag team. Um, I'm gonna come back for the main event, which I've never played, just because it works out date wise. Great. So I'm gonna try that, and uh, and then maybe the 25k or you know some of the bigger events, you know, post uh, main event. Can you give us the exclusive on who the tag team is, or do you want to hold that off? No, I can. Um, I'm going to be playing with Tom Schwartz from Vanderpump yeah, Rules, yeah, yeah. and uh, and possibly Tito Ortiz. We're just waiting for schedule. No, it's going to be fun. Okay. It's going to be fun. I love it. And, and finally, um, your newest project that's released, I would say, yeah. is is Gotti. What's what's the message to? To some fans who would want to go out and see that movie, why should they go see this film? Uh, you know, it's it's um, God. I mean, one of the most iconic uh, gangsters in the world, and and we show a side to him that he was a family man, and and the kind of the man behind Gotti. And I don't think people have ever seen that, you know, uh, uh, look into his life. And then we have his son, John Gotti Jr., who kind of put the stamp of approval on the film. So I think people are going to see a side of John Gotti versus just the myth of Gotti. So that's why you should see it. Randall, thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. All right, that is Randall Emmett. I'm Jeff Platt for PokerNews.com.